Hi, I'm Todd Heitkamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's two-minute fishing report. Well, folks, I really don't need to state the obvious, but this past weekend's weather was ideal for a lot of people to hit the ice, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, a lot of people hit the ice, and that was the main story this past weekend was the crowds. Uh, I think uh, the past week, uh, the, the lakes that were producing the fish, that's where the crowds went. And that definitely impacted the bite. There's no doubt about that. A lot of lakes that were producing fish uh, before the crowds hit, uh, all of a sudden, all the activity on the ice definitely impacted the bite and made it a little bit more skittish and more timid. Uh, so, again, those are the things that we need to keep in mind. But some of the lakes that were producing fish still did this past weekend, and some of those include Bitter and Wabe. Those are continuing to be the two hottest lakes around, probably. Uh, and those uh, two lakes continue to produce walleyes this past weekend, as well as perch, and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. But other lakes in northeastern South Dakota that produced walleyes included uh, Goose by Watertown, Dry Lake by Clark, also Big Stone, Cottonwood, Indian Springs. A few nice fish came out of Indian Springs, and then also Opitz, and then a few, and I emphasize few, at Round. Down in the southeastern part of the state, those lakes that produced walleye included Ponset, Thompson, Dry Lake by Clark, a few by Sanya, as well as Henry, 81 Ponds, Diamond, Twin, and remember, Twin is the trophy lake. You can only keep a walleye if it's 28 inches or larger. And then also Beaver. Now, what have guys been using to catch those walleyes? It seemed like, again, with the more timid bite, it looked like more of a slender spoon type of presentation. A more fluttered type of spoon uh, worked out best with tipped with a minnow head. So, uh, you know, VMC Tinglers, Tumblers, as well as the Custom Jigs and Spins Slender Spoon. Uh, the Flutter Spoon by Northland all worked quite well this past weekend. And then as far as the perch bite is concerned, a lot of guys have been targeting those perch this past week. Uh, the lakes that produce perch include Bitter, Wabe, Pius, Richmond, uh, Dry Lake by Clark, as well as Will, uh, Willow Lake, and then also South Brush, Lamb Slough, and uh, again that bite seems to be tapered off quite a bit, and then also Long, Twin, Scott Slough, Madison, as well as a few being caught at beaver. Now, what have guys been doing to catch those uh, perch? A lot of live bait, obviously, waxworms and maggots. We have plenty of that on hand here, as well as small minnows. But then also tungsten jigs seem to be doing the trick as well, and that seems to be uh, the same story that was doing it the past week. So, again, don't change up too much on the perch presentation, but the walleye presentation definitely went from more aggressive to more timid. In this week's version of Todd's Tackle Tips, we're going to talk about something new, a virtual fishing contest that we've never done before. And what we're going to do is center it around our exclusive Wonder Bread Color Pinhead and Jointed Pinhead Mental Jigs uh, that we've got from Clam. So what it means is we're going to give prizes out for the top two biggest walleyes, as well as top two biggest perch, as well as crappie. All you need to do is be fishing with a Jointed Pinhead Minnow or a regular Pinhead Minnow, Take a photo of that fish with the jig in it and show the length. We're not interested in the width. We're talking about the longest, okay? So, again, all we need is a photo of that fish with the length measurements as well as the pinhead middle, the Wonder Bread pinhead middle or jointed pinhead middles in its mouth. And then you can post it to our Facebook wall or send that photo to me at uh, Todd at DakotaAngler.com. And each week through social media, I will be updating the standings. And we're going to run this contest throughout the entire month of January. So you don't need to be present to win. There's no entry free, and you don't need to be fishing in South Dakota. You can be fishing in anywhere and use the jointed pinhead minnow or the regular pinhead minnow in the Wonder Bread colors, only that you can purchase here at Dakota Angler. So that's the whole key. If you want to participate in this virtual fishing contest, all you need to do is to make sure, if you don't already have one, buy a, a Wonder Bread a jointed pinhead middle or a Wonder Bread regular pinhead middle only here at Dakota Angler. That's the only thing that you need to do to participate in this virtual fishing contest. This will again be running throughout the entire month of January and if you have any questions about it we'll be posting rules and regulations on our social media feed or you can give us a call at 605-336-9132. It's time to have fun so let's do it. And now it's time to take a look at a few photos that you sent in to me this past week. And remember, folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the 2-Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. 
And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. And folks, before we end this week's report, I want to bring something to your attention. Uh, we have, if you're looking for an auger, we have new specials on the Strike Master 24 volt as well as the 40 volt, and then also a few of the other augers that we have on hand as well. So if you're looking for an auger, now's the time to take a look at all the specials that we have going on here at Dakota Angler. You can also check them out online at dakotaangler.com or give us a call at 605-336-9132. Well, folks, that's this week's version of the 2-Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Heitkamp, and as we say around here, fish on! We'll see you next week, and again, thanks for watching, and I hope you had a great holiday weekend, and again, let's all stay healthy and stay safe.